Michael, here at the Shareholder Service Group Conference, you talked a lot about financial planning in the digital age. What What is the most important thing that you hope the audience at today's conference takes away back to their business? I think if there's one thing they take away, it's just to recognize technology, including the whole robo trend, is not fundamentally a threat to advisors. It's it's an opportunity to leverage point for advisors. And, and to me, the, the easiest example is just to look at when this played out last time, 20 years ago, we had the entrance of the dot-coms, all this discussion. Why would anyone need a financial advisor when you can go to eTrade.com and buy all your investments? And what ended up happening, yeah, if all you did was sell mutual funds, and you could go to an online mutual fund superstore and look them up on Yahoo Finance and get your information, your business hasn't done very well. And we certainly have seen the decline of the mutual fund salesperson, but that didn't eliminate the entire world of financial advising. It simply meant advisors moved up the chain. We went from selling mutual funds and stocks to building diversified portfolios and doing portfolio construction. And to me, we're just at another one of those kinds of inflection points. So technology in the fast eliminated the mutual fund salespeople and forced us to do portfolios. Now we're watching the portfolio portion get commodified and we have to move up the line again, I think now into the world of more holistic financial planning and wealth management. So if you don't if you don't keep up with the trend, if you don't move your value proposition up and build on top of the new wave of technology, you do get knocked out of business, right? Any stockbroker who tried to keep stockbrokering after 2000, their business is gone. You also talked about the importance of going across the conference table, an advisor going across the table, and going through the experience as a client. How, how important is it that the advisor evaluate and I guess improve on their client experience? I frankly, I think most advisors just don't even realize how not good their client experience actually is. And, and like, I don't mean that in a, a disrespectful way, just we get so used to being on our side of the table for every step along the way. And we've done it a zillion times over and over again. And, you know, I know some planners who like to mix up their process with the clients just because they're, they're bored, basically, and they want something fresh and new to do with their clients. But it becomes very jarring and disruptive for the clients. And it can even come down to little things that we don't even think about. Like if a client makes an inquiry to you, how quickly do you respond? Do you send them a confirmation message to let them know that their inquiry has been received, right? Because we've all been through that experience where you submit a request through a website and like it goes into the ether and no one responds. You're like, I was ready to buy a product from you or a service from you. And you just didn't even reply. Or maybe you reply, but it's four days later and I already moved on to somewhere else because I thought my inquiry had been lost. So wrap it up for me. How important is it that the advisor focus on that client experience by essentially being in the role or in the place of the client? I, I think improving the client experience is, is essential. Just it becomes a differentiation issue. Lots of advisors are saying they give comprehensive financial planning advice for their individual clients using their credentials and years of experience. And, and quickly now it becomes down to, well, how well do you actually execute it? How well do you deliver it? And suddenly the experience matters a lot. And and again, I think just for a lot of advisors that are struggling with, maybe they're not getting as many referrals as they'd like. Maybe the, the business growth has slowed down. Yeah, it might be a broader differentiation issue, or it might just be that you're doing enough with clients to keep them satisfied so they don't leave, but the experience isn't actually good enough that they're excited to tell anybody about it. And, and that can create a huge gap for referrals and growth.